Should I follow my heart? Jeremiah 17, 9 says, The heart is deceitful above all things. It is desperately sick. Who can understand it? How do we deal with that in a world, in a culture that's saying, just follow your heart? Well, let's take this first and put it into some context. This was delivered by the prophet Jeremiah about 600 years before Jesus came on the scene. Israel was in total rebellion. They were worshiping other gods. They were making idols. And one thing that happened during the time is God said, you need to set all of your slaves free. And so they go, yeah, okay. They set their slaves free. And then they said, well, we don't like it like this. So they took all their slaves back. And what God did is he said, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you over to the Babylonian empire and you're going to be ruled and you're going to be scattered for 70 years. During those 70 years, God rose up another prophet, the prophet Ezekiel. And here's a word that God delivered through the prophet Ezekiel. He said, I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. This prophecy was fulfilled through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Romans 6, 4 puts it like this. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. This is the good news. You've been reborn. You're a new creation. The old is gone. You are God's workmanship, his handiwork, his masterpiece. You have become obedient from the heart. Should we follow our hearts? Well, unless God breaks his promises, you can answer for yourself with your new obedient heart.